In the last video, we began to uh, look into the measurement process in quantum mechanics through the third postulate. Uh, to refresh your memory, the third postulate says that when you make a measurement of a physical observable, the only possible value you can get is one of the eigenvalues of the corresponding operator to that observable. Uh, one of the consequences of that um, was it allowed us to define the expectation value of an operator uh, when you have a general state uh, like this. Uh, and this will denote by uh, yeah, so this is this is one of the consequences of the third postulate. The fourth postulate uh, ties into it by saying by assigning probabilities of obtaining a value qi in a measurement uh, when you have a general state psi expressed as a linear superposition of the eigenfunctions of this operator. Uh, and this is what we found at the end of the last video. The probability of obtaining a value qi is equal to the square modulus of the corresponding probability amplitude associated with that. Uh, and this makes sense because remember the probability amplitude we said tells you a little bit about how much of QI can be found in your general state psi. Okay, and the important thing to keep in mind is that this is for a discrete spectrum. So it's not, uh, it's not yet what you're maybe used to with the, uh, the square modulus of the wave function, which we'll get to in a later video. But uh, this, allows you to solve a wide range of problems in quantum mechanics uh, by finding the probability of finding a system in a particular eigenstate of an operator. So postulates three and four told us a little bit about what to expect, uh, what we can observe when we make a measurement, but it doesn't tell us anything about what happens to the state of the system as a consequence of the measurement. Uh, this will be provided by postulate number five, which we'll look at in the next video.